day, Keisha. Getting ready to leave. Want your belly rubbed? <laughs> oh, she's a lazy dog. She likes to sunbathe. All right, here we go. There's old Lily. Whoa. They usually jump on you a couple times and then they're good. Uh, used to step on their back feet and they figured that out. And now it doesn't work anymore when they jump. Eric Speed Exposure, and uh, this is what I ended up getting. Uh, my sister got it for me for mowing her yard, and uh, yeah, she's got about six acres or so. And this thing, I've used it a couple times, it helps a whole lot. It's a rooftop for the tractor. I've already got all the braces and stuff, and it just slides on. It's uh, easy breezy, and it's called. I think it's the name brand is Tough Top, is what it's called. And it's a whole lot cheaper than the actual New Holland top that you can buy. The New Holland one, I think, was like $500, $600 just for a little rooftop. So, I uh, just ended up getting a white one because I can always paint this one blue later on as a project. And, uh, yeah, it slides up over the over the bar that I already put up there. I didn't do a how-to video, but I'll show you how easy it is to put on. And uh, yeah, these little knobs, just tighten it on after you slide it into the brackets. And uh, right here, it's got two handles on each side, so it makes it easy access to hold it up there while you climb. And if you have two people, it makes it extra easy. And uh, yeah, I figured uh, white won't get as hot, doesn't fade, and I can always paint it blue if I wanted. And I think these are like half price of a New Holland one. Uh, I'll put it down in the details, the link to it. And I'm not sponsored by this or anything. It's just something cool to have uh, so you don't sweat to death, you know. All right, let's go to the tractor and I'll show you the braces. Yeah, there's the logo on the on the back side. There's the little bracket piece that it slides onto. It's got like three or four different uh, adjustments to where you can tilt it to. And uh, when I have it on the trailer, I usually take it off so the wind doesn't blow it and uh, mess it up when I climb up it. And here's the other side. It's got four bolts, uh, two here and two on the other side to help hold it on here. And there's two different style tops. One's for like a bigger roll cage that you have on your tractor. And this one was made for this style, which is a little bit smaller. And uh, yeah, you'll see all the details in the link. There's the little front piece where it slides in. All right, I'm gonna set this camera up and I'll go ahead and stick it on. Show them the handles. Yeah, yeah, it's got two handles in the middle here. So I just go ahead and grab it, throw it up like this. And then I make my way up here. One step at a time.
And then uh, with one person, whichever groove it goes in into the back, that's the groove I usually leave it into. <laughs> it's a little difficult, but um, once you get it up here, you got to work these brackets onto this little spin knob. And then that's how you get it to tighten up, twist these onto that bracket. Helps it from sliding out or falling off and then back here it's got four different grooves you can go into but whichever groove it goes into i'll just leave it on all right let's see what this uh bad boy looks like and uh it's a little bit tilted up and uh you can tilt it down uh, like if you did want to haul it on the trailer, I guess you could tilt it all the way down So the wind wouldn't blow it Blow it up and crack it off It's not bad looking And it still fits into the garage, so that's a good thing Let's get a good good view of it I'll go really slow around it. It really works the best when the sun is like midday. Around, what, probably 12, 1 o'clock, somewhere in there. The sun hits right down on top of it, gives you the most shade. Now, like if it's in the evening time and your and your sun's way over here, it's just gonna constantly hit you anyway. But now, if it starts raining, it'll keep your seat from getting wet or and you, unless it's like a straight out downpour with a wind windstorm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave mine white. Unless I get a wild hair and just uh, paint it blue with something. The thing should last forever. Because uh, the metal braces are underneath, so it can't really get wet up under there. And I like how they did the handles straight in the middle. Because it distributes the weight uh, evenly and it's not that heavy it's uh about as heavy as a dog food bag or something like that maybe a little lighter i'm not sure though and uh looks like it's getting ready to rain here see these clouds they're getting fluffy again so you know what that means Big old thunderstorms right behind it. Maybe lightning too. Over here it's blue, so it's rolling in. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, about all I can tell you about this. And it's worth having.